Hello, 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 and welcome back to This War of Mine High School Runs. This time, we are with Catcher. Now, last time, Amelia did do a good show and actually put herself top of the leaderboard. How much of that is Amelia and how much of that is my new skills at playing this game that I've developed across these playthroughs, we don't know. But I think Catcher could be a strong contender to surprise everyone, given that she can probably get a few decent things early on through trading. But here she is, the good bargainer. We can do this. She has started slightly wounded, but we can get through that. That can go away with sleep. Our plan for the first day, as always, is to clear up as much as we can of everything that's here, which is good. There seems to be a decent amount of materials already, so I should be able to make myself the crowbar and shovel that I will need straight away. This is good. Ah, so yes, we start another one. I think this is character number six or seven at this point. We are actually doing a really... I think it's seven, actually. And I think there may be 14, so this may be coming up to the halfway point soon. I suppose we are getting about halfway through the alphabet. Next one's uh, Marin and Marco. Is it Marco first? Mark... Marin. The I is before the K. So we're doing these alphabetically, if you hadn't noticed up to this point. So, yeah. Uh, we're at the same one that we had Amelia, so maybe that's a good luck charm. Of course, there's always a few uh, weird bits and pieces, but let's get this bit up and running. Yeah, you can jump down there. Then we can get the crowbar and the shovel and finish off the rest of this place, because at the moment we're... We couldn't get anything else without using stuff like that. Uh, good. We need to make one of these and put it just on the other side, as always. I have always rearranged my room, my house, to be exactly the same here. It's a weird thing that you just get into the habit of it. I'm sure there are people who have other ways of... Um, other ways of sort of organising everything, if that makes sense. Uh, but yes, day one is always a nice chill day. I know exactly what I'm doing. It does take a while, but it kind of just happens because there is literally nothing else to do. I do think that the once we, I think the next two after this is going to be a big shift. I think that getting through um, Katya and Marin, and then Marco. Those three could really turn the, the scores on their head. Like, I was expecting Boris to be ahead at this point, and to be honest, if he'd got to the end, he probably would still be. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Because Catcher, I think it really depends on what the tradable options are. Like, we could get more of it, sure, but what if we don't need more of it? Uh, cool, let's get the, this up and running. I also can't remember if Catcher's particularly good at fighting back. I do think that Marco is, and so Marco is going to be, that's going to be an interesting thing, to be able to guard during the outbreak of crime, because that's the bit that I think will scupper a few extra runs. Because I feel like, uh, besides that, it's quite straightforward for a lot of people, with no raids, which is, to be honest, one of the easiest parts of the 12 people run. Then again, you just put enough people on guard and it would just be the same, so, yeah. Ugh. It's a nice chill time. I hope you guys are all doing all right. I'm recording this quite late, so I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit sleepy. But I will keep going and make sure that you get uh, <laughs> at least a cogni cognient, cognici at least a sensible set of discussion and commentary. Because otherwise, it gets a bit dull for you guys. Don't want to be stuck in a situation where I can't put words together, like cognicient or whatever word I was trying to go for there. Uh, cognient, cog. There is a word that means, like, brain using your brain to understand what is being said. But it seems that I was very, very odd with it. But anyway. Nice. Uh, cool bandages. That's exactly what I needed. Because if I can go to the garage tonight, then I can trade those for maybe a hatchet and a whole load of other good, useful things. Because that's the beauty of Catcher. She can get a really big boost in trading. And also, that location is great for providing us with materials. So if we ever need materials to upgrade anything here, then we can just get it from there. Uh, that's the thing I'm thinking, is if I can do that and just get all of their resources, like, every two or three nights, maybe switch between that and the military outpost, we would be golden. I've already got a lockpick, so the military outpost is already kind of gone for them. Actually, I should actually look inside here, which is good. Hey, some meds. So the meds will also be very helpful. So I'll probably take both of those and just... Uh, uh, what's the word? I'll take both of those and trade them away at the garage tonight. Um, Catch is doing a good job in getting everything set up. I mean, I could bandage her up, but she's only slightly wounded, so there's no real point. 
had she started full on wounded, then I may may have had to had a bit more extra uh, by using some of the bandages. But I do admit that I don't think slightly wounded is enough of a worry to do so. Good, we're getting some more resources. I was a bit worried about a lack of materials because yeah. The main thing is going to be to get enough to board up the entire house because, of course, that is the most important thing. Because otherwise you can't really protect your house if you're not boarded it up. Now we've just got the top floor to do. Are you going to get there in time, Catcher? Which method are you going to use? Oh, you are going to use there. Cool. So let's start on the right and then maybe the left. We It'll be close, but we may get through a lot of it today at least. Shovel and crowbar is always a good one. Yeah. Also, if, uh, for, for people watching this... Are there any sort of shorts that you'd be interested in seeing for this war of mine? Shorts are the way of getting more people, in, like getting a bigger audience. And this war of mine shorts, I'm not sure quite how well they'd work. Especially considering condensing an entire run down to like a minute is difficult. Maybe I'll do it for these guys because for each one of them that would be an interesting kind of thing. But um, yeah, I still find it a bit of a, a bit of a, a tricky thing to come up with ideas for. I don't know if you guys... I think a lot of you guys have said you prefer the long-form stuff, so that is important. Which is good. Grab all of that. Another one. And some food, finally. Admittedly, we're being running a bit low on food, so I may need to get some from the thing. Or I can wait till day three. I'm hoping the catcher doesn't get broken like Amelia did. Even though Amelia broke, got broken and then made it to the final stage. I also had the opportunity just to take some stuff off this, off the people at the end. But Oh no, come on, come on. You knew I wanted to do that. I don't think I'm going to make it in time now. Because, yeah, no. There's going to be this, which is tomorrow. That's irritating. So close. Uh, the garage is here. Nice. Uh, we're going to scavenge. We're going to take... Um, I'm going to take both of those just to be safe. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to leave the pills for now. Pills are... I don't know. I always seem to find more bandages than I do pills. So, yeah, let's go. So, main thing I need is a hatchet, if not a hatchet, and just materials that fill up this backpack. Because, look, she's got a decent backpack. She's got 12. Which is better than, um, better than a lot of people. Hey, there we go. Do you have the hatchet? You do! Yay! So, if I do this, you give me this. It's very generous of me. I know it is. I'll take that as well, and these. You know what to do? Try harder. I'll chuck another one of these on, and you can give me... 5, 6, 7, 8... Uh, I feel like if I drop this out and ask for water. See, for two of those, I'm filling up so much of my inventory. Got a lot of parts there. Got some water. Got, like, all of the best equipment that I could need. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that deal. And if I look in my backpack, got plenty of space. So now I just run off and refill up my backpack with the rest of the stuff I can get. And then we go home. And we start to really build up as much as we can. I think a bit more wood is good. Um, we've got the hatchet though, so the most important thing is to get more components. Ah, the infamous drawer where I put a load of, I think it was Sveta's stuff, and it then got stolen. That was something I'd learnt. Um, you know what, I'm going to drop two of that and just bring another one of these. Mainly because we'll get enough wood from a lot of the stuff that we're doing at the house. Day two! I've got to finish up grabbing the thing from up the top there. And once that's been grabbed, I will come down, um, build, upgrade the workbench. Actually, I'll check if I can... I should be able to upgrade the workbench straight away, which will give me a good stuff. Cool. Nice. You may be wondering, why am I being so blasé about this all to begin with? Well, yeah, that's it. Cool. Wait, did I leave... Ah, maybe I left that there. I was about to say, did I chop it up? I must have chopped it up. Just thinking, because if I'd left a chair there for Amelia, then that would have been an extra, like, three score because of how it works. But I don't think I did. I think I would have noticed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm observant. Except for the fact that I almost forgot to count the medicine for Amelia, which would have been embarrassing. Uh, but no, that's fine. She's already content. That's the beauty of Catcher. She can go up quite high, which uh, I suppose if I did the same thing for... Um, Amelia, she'd be like, no, it was a risk. I could use those myself. Sorry, I'm slagging her off, even though she did the best run so far of anyone. Just because the fact that she got broken and I had to work very hard to get her up. She probably could have got a higher score if she didn't need to be fed, well fed so often. Uh, I was going to leave the... the um, what's it called? I was going to leave the 
fuel because of better to keep it safe. Uh, if I, if, let's see if I can get enough because that didn't really break well enough. Uh, that's 22. I need to get 30 wood, I think. If I can get 30 wood, which I should do because there's that up the top there and this. Uh, 30 wood is the is the level because that's enough for three barricades. So, okay, I need one more. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go quickly check upstairs here. That didn't even finish breaking. Damn. Doesn't even give me a halfway point or anything. That's annoying. I feel like they would, should do that. They should give you a halfway point. But I've already put some time into this, and it's uh, annoying that I have to do, do it again. I also need to build a bed today, actually. That's a point. Uh, maybe I'll do build a bed, then build the two things. Uh, yeah, I'll grab all that. Break this. This is all good. Good. The main thing I'm thinking here is we'll be able to build a lot of the good stuff because of, um, because Catcher's being able to, what's the word? Catcher can uh, bargain for everything a lot better. So I want to try my hardest to get all of the things very quickly, because then every single time the trader comes I'll clean him out of water and sugar. Uh, so let's get a bed up and running just here. I think that I left myself with enough to do everything else as well. And then maybe sleep tonight, and then go to the military outpost another night. That's, I think, fair. Because I also want to build myself a... I need to build myself an oven. Those are the main things. Bed, oven are essentials to survive. Technically, the built barricades as well, I'd say. But, um, yeah. Because otherwise you get into a situation where we can't really feed or sleep. Feed well enough or sleep. Good, so let's get moving on this. If I go to barricade, I have 31 and 2. That's good. Let us see how well we're doing. The first episode's always a bit longer, I think. It's only going to be three days, though, as opposed to the four-day ones which do come along. She's a pretty quick builder. I, do, I don't know if there's an effect for Marin as well. If he's While he can use less stuff, he can use um, more... Uh, more... What's the word? Mixed stuff. I'm not, what am I talking about? You can tell I'm tired. This is the problem. I should <laughs> I should preface this video saying I'm very tired and half the stuff I'm saying makes no sense. But, um, yeah, if he has a quicker one, a quicker building time, as opposed to also being need, able to use fewer resources. Nice, another one. <laughs> yeah, if I did actually eventually get an editor and someone to edit all these videos, they'd probably go through it and be like, half of what you're saying does not make any sense. That's why I don't record with anyone else, because if someone else was there, they'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? Maybe it would actually force me to be thinking a bit more about what I'm saying, as opposed to just mad ramblings of a, of a This War of Mind player. Uh, we're doing alright, though. We may actually get all three done, and then we can sleep tonight. Having it already barricaded by day two is strong. We may actually do it. The last one is in the roof, though, which is difficult. Which just means it, it takes time to get there. I know, I sh the thing is, this you can't move this, so this is stuck there, so even, no matter what, this is the distance that you have to do. Use all that, this is a good thing because it means I'm using up all of my materials. I then do need to get some more wood, maybe I'll be able to grab, break that down, grab some wood and, how much components, I've got seven. Don't know if I'll have enough to build myself an oven, but, yeah. We're doing alright. Hmm. So are you guys all doing? And uh, we're starting to get a bit later, lighter later into the evening now, which is good. I always find myself a bit more um, bright and cheery when it's lighter outside after work, because otherwise you kind of do this thing where you go to work and it's dark, come back and it's dark, and it's just no fun at all. But we are. I think the clocks go forward actually this weekend, so it will be even lighter in the evenings going forward, which is always a lovely time of year. Let us go and just chop that one up. You can use whatever route you would like, Catcher. I forget there's a hole here sometimes. <sighs> this is good. Probably get the trader tomorrow, which is good, because I do think I have the diamond and some books. Books can be broken up for fuel, I guess. You're still slightly wounded, but maybe sleeping in a bed tonight will get you uh, away from that. Having had a productive day. Just grab the wood from out here. Uh, it's only three. I don't think that's going to be enough. I'll probably need more. I wonder how this is... How much of a change it is. People have probably done the 
the science around it, seeing, trying to work out what she can trade differently to other people. Ah, uh, not quite. Ten and... Th yeah, that's fine. Nothing else I can really do today, then. Let us end the day. And then you can sleep through tonight, and then stay, and we'll go to the military outpost tomorrow. Or after the first raid, I think. That's a decent start, I think. We weren't raided. You're still slightly wounded. You're hungry and content. So I need a bit more of things today. I think the best plan I'm going to have there is just to... Um, what's it called? Trade with the trader. Although, in a worst case scenario, at least we can just eat these two and move on with our lives. Because if we eat those two, this is the problem. I don't want to lose this equipment. So, yeah. That's going to be tricky. Although, maybe I could actually go and trade some of that equipment away that I don't need for useful resources and stuff. We never know. Maybe, maybe that is a something that can happen. But, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we're kind of just sitting and waiting today, now that we've done everything in the house. Um, what's this? Oh, that's just a pile of fuel. There's three piles of... four piles of fuel. Sorry, one. One, two, three, and four. That's good to have in the bank. And how much do we have currently sitting on? We're sitting on three, so that's fine. That's enough for, like, doing some cooking and stuff. Hey, Mr. Trader Man, exactly. Uh, keeping catcher content will be strong. Um, yes, I know, yes, I know. Hello, you gonna have anything that's actually worthwhile for me? You have got a lot of materials, lovely. Uh, if I was to drop you that, you give me a load of wood. That's You say that that's impressive of me. Okay, um, sure, how about that? It won't do try harder. Let's drop a couple of these off then. Ooh. And do that. I think that that there, then for, is enough to build myself the oven. Right? Yes, it is. Oh, more than enough. Good place. We're going to build that quickly, and then we're going to use this opportunity, actually, to get rid of as much of the stuff as we can. I'm going to see what I need to upgrade one of these two, and then try and trade away as much as I can for it. Because then I can upgrade, leave the house with as little as possible in it, and then go out to the um, military outpost, do the quick thing where I steal from them, come back, and then we can start our run in earnest at that point. Hmm. I do wonder if there is a maximum they can steal, but I think unlikely. Going to the military outpost will give me the luxury of uh, guns and things, though, without having to worry too much. Good, um, so I need... 30 and I need 15 so that's going to be 25 and like 10 probably worth getting as much of everything as I can to be honest so I think that all of that is good and all of that is good um I'm just wondering if there's anything maybe for the books okay so that is all there for that um and some of these herbs damn I'm all I think I feel like I'm close yeah, I feel like a deal on that is good. How much things do we have? We've now got 13 and 14, so I need 16 and 2. Oh, I don't think I have enough. If I do spam all that, put this. It's so, so impressive of me. I know, I know. I'm so amazing, aren't I? Um, what should I, else should I take? I feel like if I take that and that. Can I take any of this? And take two of those. Kind of want to stick around here then for tomorrow because I don't think there's going to be quite enough for me to upgrade what I need to upgrade. Um, that's good. Um, uh, it's a bit annoying that I can't. How much does this need to upgrade? Let's see. That needs 30 as well. Ah, that's the annoying thing. I'm just short on the components front. Uh, I should have thought about that. Um, I'm going to need to stick around until there's a raid to protect the stuff. Which is annoying, but we will see. I don't have a gun to shoot to scare them off is the th also the thing. Okay. Um, how much do I need to upgrade this? Maybe uh, this is less. Yes, that's good. So being upgrade upgrading the oven is a strong starting point. Um, do I... And I think I will have to wait here tonight, which is a shame, but... At least I've used some of my stuff. Then I can 
use this to make myself two food, which I can then leave. Eat one, save the other one for day five. Um, so that's that food then save. Then it's just really the tools that's annoying. But if I take myself... Honestly, the tools I can rebuild. I've, I've used what I needed the tools for. I'll smash this up. But I think I've used the tools for what they need to be used for at this point. I could maybe trade them to the... Um, if I trade them to the military outpost tonight, then that could work. This is my plan, yeah. Uh, just two wood. That's a shame. Um, let us use this. And build do that. Ah, oh, good. Um, I'm debating if there's any way of maybe... I'll ch actually, if I smartly go over here and see if I can switch... If I give loads and loads and loads of components and stuff to them... Actually, I should eat just before I forget and get through the day and then I'm very hungry tomorrow. Which would just be annoying. Good. Good, 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 good. Run over here. If I trade to you... Like... If I trade to you a lot of my stuff... And instead you just give me like a diamond. I need those. Um, how is... Damn. I can't... Like this is... So in order to get this... Your... All of this is willing... Is That's the thing. It's like... An annoying... If I actually asked for, say, one of these, that's it. That's what I need to do. And instead of that, maybe give you that. And you give me those, because that can I can carry easy, just in my inventory. Whereas all this other stuff that it could just be nicked is... Yeah, that's, that's my plan. I feel like it's a smart plan. If I look here, now I've got stuff I can carry to the place. Some stuff I may lose, but I think it's better to go and nick stuff tonight. And I'm going to leave it there. We're going to go to the military outpost tonight. We're going to go to the military outpost. We're going to prepare ourselves. We're going to take one of these and we're going to take this with us. Uh, what else do we want to take that's worthwhile? I kind of don't want to risk losing at least four of these each. Um, the crow and the I can make more of this when I've when I've got more items. Crowbar and the shovel, annoying if I lose, but I can make new ones with materials. Just these are a bit more valuable. I'm going to scavenge with that, fill up the rest of my inventory. And I've got those, um, and I've got those things which will be worthwhile. There's also stuff to maybe scavenge here, which is worth looking through. To be honest, you're probably thrilled if with the stuff I brought this time, which is not often the case. Hmm. Because I may then use some of this stuff to trade away for um, the stuff I can't get at, because I'm not going to risk going back there. Uh, nice, there's a few decent things here. What do you actually have? Let's see. There's a good amount of stuff this time. I'm not interested, I'm sorry. Next time, bring more booze. Uh, okay, I will. But don't worry, you're going to go away in a second, and I'm just going to take it anyway. How about that? Does that sound smart? There's someone just behind you. I heard that noise. Let's quickly look at my backpack. Oh, yeah, I've got the thing I need. Bye-bye. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm running away. I've left. See, look, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a poor, def I don't understand what's going on. I'm just a civilian. Don't, don't, don't do anything bad for me. I'm just a poor, innocent civilian. What am I meant to do? It's all so confusing. Just maybe wait for you guys to... You're going to need to discuss that again, aren't you? I really think you are. It's such a shame, but you are going to have to discuss that again. Uh... To be honest, if this guy just turns around at all, I just climb up here and go, wee, and run, jump down and do it back way and then run through. But he won't turn around until the guy comes, and at that point it might as well do this method. Maybe I should have done that method this time. That's actually a, probably a better method. 
waiting for them to go that way. Because then I can climb up, go over, when he's gone away. And once he's gone away, then he goes back there and I can jump down here and do it this method. Gives me a bit more time. Although the guy is coming back, it seems. Hopefully this guy will say excuse me again. And this guy's just not going to loiter here, which he sometimes does. Just get myself in a good position to follow you, but not not, not too close. Here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Just getting myself... Okay, there you go. Your, your excuse, don't worry. Nice. Perfect timing. Let us just grab what we need to grab. Oh, okay, I'll take the pistol and the gun. We'll take uh, two more of these, all of the food. Uh, I'll leave the bullets. That's that's something I can leave. And then let's close the door behind me. There we go. No one will ever know I was here. Let's have a quick... Let's just do a quick trade to see if anything is... Uh, what else is there? Honestly, I don't think I need anything else. Not interested. If I look at my backpack, it's pretty full, but I might as well grab what I need to grab from the rest of the stuff here, but then I will leave it here for today. Maybe four components. I was a bit low on components besides that, but yep, I think for our first episode, we're doing a pretty strong. Please tell me there is at least one component in here just to have a nice full inventory of stuff. We do. Nice. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Catcher's Run. It's already going really well, and I'll see you guys next time. ta -ra.